During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to state what fair faced block work is, list the two dimension ranges used for fair faced block work, list name and sketch all of the various blocks used in both dimension ranges, give one example of an imperial measurement. Give one advantage and disadvantage of using DCM blocks. List the seven steps to successful jointing. And list four of the most commonly used joints. Fair faced block walk. Fairface block walk is block walk that is not plastered or covered up, but left exposed and subsequently must be jointed neatly. Obviously the quality of the block used for this type of construction must be of a high standard. Fairface blocks come in two different dimension ranges. The 450 range, which is the most common and the 400 range. The 450 range is the standard block range, therefore the block dimensions are 440 by 215 by 100, or in the case of hollow blocks, uh, 440 by 215 by 215, as shown in the next slide. All the joints are nominal 10 millimeter in size. Here we have the 450 range. We can see our standard 100 millimeters by 440 by 215 block up in the left hand corner. Then beside that we have what's commonly known as a 3 inch block. The one beside that then uh, a cavity block. Then we have a, a U block or a lintel block beside that. Coming down to the bottom left hand corner we have uh, a half of a cavity block or a football as it's sometimes called. Next we have a half of a, a 100 millimeter block which is usually called a soap bar. Next we have a cavity closer and uh, with 150 millimeter return and then the next one then the last one on the bottom right hand corner is another cavity closer this time with a 215 millimeter return fair faced block dimensions the 400 range is an alternative dimension block range the block dimensions are 390 by 190 by 90 or in the case of a hollow block, 390 by 190 by 190. All the joints are as normal, 10 millimeters in size. The reason that this alternative to the 450 range was introduced is that when the unit of measurement changed from imperial, which is feet and inches, to metric, meters and millimeters, it was thought to be a good idea. The 450 range was used because two 440 mm blocks beside each other with a joint was conveniently 3 feet imperial. By changing block dimensions to the 400 range, this would mean that two 390 mm blocks with a joint would conveniently give a measurement of 800 mm with a range of 200 mm vertically. This 400 range can sometimes be called DCM work, Dimensionally Coordinated Masonry. It has some advantages and disadvantages over standard size block work. Advantages Blocks are lighter. Gauge is in multiples of 200 millimeters. It gives quite a nice visual appearance in large areas.
disadvantages of the 400 range. In cavity work, wall toys can only be placed at 600 mm vertically to suit the gauge of standard brickwork. Insulation sheets are usually 450 mm high. This does not match the DCM gauge. Special DCM bricks are recommended if a cavity wall with brick outer leaf is to be used with the DCM blocks. Openings in fair faced block work. As fair faced block work is all seen, a window or a door opening is usually only bridged using a galvanized pressed steel lintel or U-blocks as can be seen down here in the bottom right hand corner. Window sills are usually constructed with special designed sill blocks as shown below here in the left hand corner. Note the dimensions of the sill block and the U-block. Here is an elevation and a section through uh, a fair faced block wall with uh, a window opening. We can see that we use uh, that the U-blocks are used to bridge the opening up at the top and the U-blocks here are filled with concrete and also reinforced with rebar. We can see from the section also that we've used sill blocks here uh, for weathering the bottom of the opening. Jointing fair faced block work. As with any jointing, whether on brick work or block work, it must be done to the highest standard. Bad jointing is usually a sign of a bad tradesman. It is crucial that all joints are correctly filled and that no holes or gaps are left in the joints. All joints should be flush before rubbing up commences. Jointing should be carried out as the work proceeds and not left to go hard before an attempt is made to begin the jointing process. It should also be noted that jointing should not begin if the mortar is too wet. All joints should be rubbed when the moisture content is just right. All joints should be the same depth no matter what type of joint finish is being used. A bucket handle jointer or a key jointer which is wider than the joint is most suitable for rubbing up brickwork. A long bar, 450mm or longer, which is 10mm in diameter, is best suited to block work. Pair pens should be jointed first, then the bed joints, and both should be married up to create a continuous flow for the rainwater coming down the face of the wall. This is how to create the best joint finish to the joint. Use an 8 to 10 mm diameter bar for rubbing the block work and use a 12 mm diameter bar for rubbing the brick work. 7 steps to successful jointing 1. Keep joints flush before jointing starts. 2. Check moisture content with your finger. 3. Rub the joint with the heel of the bar fully from arras to arras for brickwork. 4. Rub perps first and then the bed joints. 5. Marry up all joints as work proceeds. 6. Brush brickwork very lightly with a very soft brush after jointing. 
7. Clean snots off block walk with a trowel. Never brush block, block walk that's after being jointed. Only scrape off the excess mortar with a trowel. Types of joint most commonly used. Starting from the top left hand corner, we have a flush joint. Below that then we have key joint. Below that then we have a shallow key joint. And at the bottom there we have a weather struck joint. On the top right hand corner then we have a weather struck and cut joint. Below that then we have a reverse or overhand struck joint. Then we have a square or recess joint. And lastly there in the bottom right hand corner we have tuck pointing. Conclusion Block work that is fair faced is not plastered or covered up so must be jointed neatly. Dimension ranges used for fair faced block work are 400mm and 450mm. The measurements that are used in the 450mm range are 440, 215, 175. The measurements that are used in the 400 range are 390, 190 and 90. 3 foot is an example of an imperial measurement. One advantage of using DCM blocks is that the blocks themselves are lighter. One disadvantage of using DCM blocks is that they don't match the size of sheets of insulation, which are usually 450 millimeters in height. A guide for successful jointing. The joint should always be flush before you start rubbing up. The moisture content should be just correct before you start rubbing up. If you're rubbing up brickwork, you should use the heel of the key jointer. You should always rub the perps first and then the bed joints. All the joints should be married. If you're rubbing brickwork, after jointing the brickwork, give it a light brush with a very soft brush. If you're rubbing blockwork, scrape the excess mortar off with a trowel. Never brush rubbed blockwork. A few common joints that are used or a few common methods of jointing are key jointing, recess joint, flush jointing and tuck.